Supreme Court case. This was a, a state federal case where uh, a federal court has struck down a no-fly list as unconstitutional. One of the first stories when I came to InfoWars was about a, a man, Wade Hicks, who got stuck trying to get to Japan. He was taken off of a uh, army plane going to visit his wife who was in the military in Japan. Uh, he was taken off the plane just before it left in Hawaii. It stopped there for refueling. He was given no explanation as to why he was on a no-fly list. He had been vetted by the FBI. He had been vetted by uh, TSA. Uh, he had been given passes to work as a transportation worker just prior to his trip, and yet they pulled him off. They would not tell him why he was on a no-fly list. Eventually, he got back with pressure from the military and still never heard as to why he was put on this no-fly list. See, that's the problem that we have. That's what everybody should be concerned about, whether they're Republican or Democrat, left or right. The idea that we have a government that can operate in secret. This is, like, this is not like a police state. This is a police state. This is something out of Kafka, out of East Germany, out of the Stasi. You cannot have a situation where you have secret warrants going out after people and you're not allowed to know if you're on the list or why you're on the list or if you ever get off of the list. Well, this is a story that's up on InfoWars today from Kurt Nemo. Federal court strikes down no-fly list as unconstitutional. The freedom to travel is considered an unenumerated natural right. That's right. The Ninth Amendment says that the Tenth Amendment say, hey, if we left something out, we still have those rights. And, and just because it's not there specifically doesn't mean that we don't possess that right. Now, this is a federal court in Portland, Oregon. They said that the no-fly list is unconstitutional because it violates a right to due process. Exactly. But they're modifying our Constitution, they say, by using this secret FISA court, the Foreign Intelligence Surveillance Act of 1970s was put in place to stop precisely the type of thing that they're using it for. That's the way the government gets around these things. They had the church committee hearings where they were talking about how the CIA was getting to be an out of control. They, they pointed out how it was out of control in so many different areas. They were very concerned that the CIA and the federal government in general was going to start spying on Americans. So they created this Foreign Intelligence Surveillance Act to say, you cannot spy on Americans without going before this court and, and getting a warrant and everything. And yet... What they're doing is they're using that very court, that secretive court, which is not a court at all. Because in a court, you have openness. In a court, you have presumption of innocence before you're proven guilty. In a court, you have an adversarial relationship. So you're not only told that you're being scrutinized or tried in abstentia, or whatever, which is what they're doing, secretly trying people in abstentia. You have an advocate there in that court. You have somebody arguing for your side of the case. That doesn't happen in the FISA court. In the FISA court... It's done in secret. There is one judge, no jury, no defense attorney, simply a judge and somebody from the administration saying, we want to do this or that to that person or follow that person. And as they're going through these various quote unquote cases, as they make their secretive rulings, which we're not allowed to see, they're maintaining the fiction that their court rulings are modifying the constitution. I would say along with Jefferson that the idea that the courts, any courts, including the Supreme Court, are modifying the Constitution with their decisions is one that is going to destroy our country for the longest time. I mean, we can look at this court case and we can say, what a wonderful thing here that the Supreme Court has now affirmed the Fourth Amendment. That's nice. But we have to understand that we have, by ignoring this, given over to the, the Supreme Court essentially an implied power to modify our Constitution, which is really, really dangerous, as we've seen over and over again, because they have, in many cases, given incredible power to the police state. And we've seen Scalia essentially echoing Hillary Clinton, where she was saying, well, you know, rights, anybody that maintains that the Second Amendment is an absolute right is terrorizing the public. See, she's that close to calling people who believe that the Second Amendment is a right and not a government privilege. Because that's what it means when you say it's absolute. You say it's a right. It's a God-given right. It's not something that they can infringe, that they can incrementally move upon and take away little pieces of it. When you say that, she says that you're terrorizing people. She's implying that you're a terrorist. And yet we've seen one of the so-called conservative judges, Scalia, say essentially the same thing. He says, if the Fourth Amendment were an absolute right, then you wouldn't have the TSA. <laughs>
to which I say it is an absolute right. It's not a privilege. The TSA doesn't need to be there, and we don't need to have Supreme Court justices rewriting the Constitution. Stay with us. We'll be right back with Anthony Gucciardi about some health news. Listen up, all you preppers and survival enthusiasts. Sigma 3 Survival School has a brand new survival instructor training program that will teach you everything you need to know about survival and then license you to teach our survival programs so you can make a substantial profit from it. If you have always wanted to learn to be completely self-reliant and would like to make money at it, then check out Sigma 3 Survival School Survival Instructor Program at survivalschool.us or call 479-561-3886 today. You are now in the crosshairs. The NSA and the FBI are treating you like a criminal and monitoring your every move. Ron Paul said recently, the evidence of the totalitarian nature of this government is on display undeniably every day. What's taking place right now is a coup and the destruction of the Constitution. But a friend and patriot has discovered a loophole. Find out about the NSA loophole before they shut it down at privacylockdown.com. That's privacylockdown.com. What good is a Big Berkey water filter? We get that question a lot here at BigBerkeyWaterFilters.com. And in a word, the answer is protection. Protection from water main breaks, E. coli contamination, environmental chemical spills, pesticide runoff, chlorine taste and smell, and all forms of fluoride. Plus, Big Berkey water filters are the original gravity water filter system and most trusted on the market for a reason. Tested by multiple independent NSF EPA certified labs, they are the gold standard in water purification. At only 1.7 cents a gallon, a single set of filters can last for 5 to 10 years. That means big savings. Big Berkey, the one that's powerful enough to purify stagnant pond water. Get a Big Berkey today at BigBerkeyWaterFilters.com. GCN listeners receive 5% off all ceramic filter systems. Visit our website or call 1-877-99-BERKEY. That's 877-99-BERKEY. Big Berkey Water Filters, for the love of clean water. I've always believed in nutrition and herbs. Super Male Vitality was developed to activate your body's own natural processes instead of using synthetic chemicals sourced from powerful organic herbs harvested around the planet and then concentrated for maximum potency. I just received my Male Vitality about three days ago, and I must say that is good stuff. After consulting top doctors, nutritionists, pharmacists, and others, we have developed what I believe is the ultimate non-GMO organic Organic Super Male Vitality Formula. Super Male Vitality by InfoWars Life is so powerful that I only take half the recommended dose. I jump out of bed ready to fight these criminals every day. I look forward to waking up and taking my Super Male Vitality and getting the day started. It's not just the Super Male Vitality. All the products at InfoWarsLife.com are simply amazing. Visit InfoWarsLife.com today to secure your Super Male Vitality and other powerful products from InfoWars Life. Get the most important package of information you'll ever receive in your life for only $10. The package includes three books and seven DVD programs which cover biblical miracles and prophecy. The Shroud of Turin, The Third Secret of Fatima, What Really Happened to the Catholic Church, and more. Call 800-513-0029. That's 800-513-0029. Or go to VaticanCatholic.com. That's VaticanCatholic.com. 800-513-0029. VaticanCatholic.com. Do you ever feel like you live in an alternate universe? As the stock market hits new highs, the middle class are dying. Manipulated financial markets and economic figures, chaos on our border, China and Russia bypassing the dollar. Life is getting ready to change. You need to prepare to thrive in the new economy. Go to babyboomerbackupplan.com or call 888-507-8789. That's 888-507-8789. to the Alex Jones Show. I'm David Knight here in Austin. I'm your host today, and I'm joined this segment with Anthony Gucciardi. And Anthony, just as I turn over here looking at you, I'm looking at this uh, new, these new Mulan Lave belt buckles. Those are sharp-looking buckles, aren't they? 
Yeah, they're pretty awesome, actually. Uh, it's a limited edition of 500 of them. It's one way that you can help to support the uh, operation here as well as look super cool. <laughs> I think those are nice looking. If you've seen the t-shirts, it's essentially it's very similar to uh, that logo. Very nice looking logo to go along with the 17, made in 1776 line. Only 500 of those limited edition. Anthony, it looks like they're taking the mask off on all fronts, doesn't it? Well, I don't know if it means that we're winning which we are in many ways, or if they're just all out going full frontal assault at this point, because I'm looking at how they're manipulating every single piece of news and every single event in their favor and pushing the most ridiculous option. Mm -hmm. And it reminds me of the story from Drudge today about the uh, swine flu crossing the border from the illegal immigrants coming in, mostly children, as you know, we've been talking about yeah. shipping them in by the busload. Well, now the whole angle is, well, Let's not worry about that. What we need is genetically modified meat because that would overall cure swine flu and it would <laughs> cure everything else. So I like to talk about this popular science article called How Soon Might We Have Genetically Modified Meat? Just like begging people, please just let it happen. It's good for you. And the subheadline is the state of diarrhea preventing goat milk, flu resistant poultry and cleaner pigs. And it goes on to talk about, you know, it's so strange that people aren't accepting genetically modified animals to eat because in the past they had genetically modified salmon and the FDA says that's perfectly safe, you know. <laughs> in the Frank and fish. Here, yeah. The first paragraph, <laughs> it seemed uh, genetically modified animals have seemed to stalled in the approval processes despite the, f the fact that positive scientific reviews found that aqua bounty fish, the GM fish, is safe to eat and safe for the environment. Mm. Right. And it goes on to say that maybe what they can do is instead of giving pigs mouse genes, scientists <laughs> could make domestic pigs with genes normally found in wild pigs. You know, that's way safer. <laughs> Mou mouse genes are, are okay, but maybe if we well, of course, a little the, more domestic. That Michigan farmer who was, and, and the other Michigan farmers who were raising a, uh, a, a strain of, of uh, pigs that were hairy because they were essentially free-range pigs in a very cold climate. And, of course, they got the uh, Department of Natural Resources there in, in Michigan to come in. And most of those farms, they shut them down and shot the pigs. This guy fought them for over three years, finally prevailed. But, of course, you know, he had to survive. He had to depend on contributions from people giving, sending him money. And he's not getting any compensation from the government for that. And they, and they never came back and backed off of that. They just said, uh, well, we'll let you have those pigs, but not necessarily other people. That's the other tactic that they use. But it's popular science seems to always come in with no matter how bad the technology or how bad the possible consequences, they always take this gee whiz attitude to it. It's yeah. a very dangerous attitude for any scientist to say, well, just because we can do it, we should. Well, you're not allowed to have actual real hogs. They'll kill all of them. They can have mouse gene hogs, so those are good. <laughs> but that's a little bit of owner piece. I wanted to tie this in, though, to, for an understanding here. The fact that we've already been through this and what I find most shocking is we keep having these reports come out that even federal scientists are saying, no, this is really weird. We shouldn't release genetically modified animals, specifically real environmentalists. Like that's phony environmentalism to say. Yeah. We need to genetically modify all the animals. It's perfectly safe and clean and we won't have any more diseases. That's fake environmentalism, globalist insanity propagated by, you know, the elite who are pushing all of this. However, you have actual federal scientists, and I've talked to some of them, but here we have these leaked emails where they were talking about, you know, basically it's going to turn into Jurassic Park. Yes. Because what they claim oh, yeah. is that the genetically modified animals are sterile, completely sterile. But they found that despite Aqua Bounty's claim, the producer of the genetically modified fish, to produce only sterile salmon, the company admitted that up to 5% of their genetically modified salmon eggs could be fertile. And the FDA said, well, that could be potentially misleading, but overall it's good and we recommend it. But even Congress that passes the most horrendous things you can dream of, many of which are, you know, true criminals, said that, no, even this is too insane. So they banned the FDA who was pushing it through, pushing through all the genetically modified garbage, saying, no, FDA, you actually can't approve this. They went on to say that an advi advisory panel indicated that more studies would be needed before it could be served on the nation's dinner tables. And if the FDA had approved the salmon, it would be the first time the government allowed such modified animals to be marketed for human consumption, and the FDA would not label them. That's how we win. 
that's how we get them to stand down, just like we did in Syria, just as Alex was pointing out in that report, how in Syria people push back against this war narrative, and we can roll back what's happening at the borders, and we can roll back what's happening in genetically modified organisms, where they don't even want people to know what's in their food. Well, even the government is realizing now, many of the employees are realizing this is too insane. This yeah. is not even part of the plan. Even some of the federal scientists are saying, no, this is too insane. Thank you very much, Anthony Gucciardi. We're going to be right back with a special report.